Gentlemen, kindly remove your caps as we'll honor America with a playing of our national anthem. Flags on the wall. between the Northwestern girls basketball team and your Rochester Lady Zebras. At this time, we'd like to meet the starting lineups first for Northwestern. A junior guard, wearing number 12, Haley Cutter. Another junior guard, wearing 13, Anna Fisher. At forward, a sophomore, number 11, Tessa Orkman. A senior forward, number 22, Lexi Hamel. And a junior forward, number 44, Northwestern is coached by Wendy Gatlin, assisted by Christina Kidwell. And now, let's meet the starters for your Lady Zebras. At guard, a freshman, wearing number two, Aubrey Wilson. At guard, a junior, number three, Riley Clevenger. A freshman forward, wearing number 15, Jamie Fields. At forward, a junior, number 25, Audrey Fulker. Guard, a junior, number 33, Ella McCarter. The Zebras are coached by Joel Burris, assisted by Jake Nye, Nate Basham, and Joe McCarter. Tonight's officials, Mr. Jim Mr. Kim Curry, and Mr. John Barcheski. He's a, he's a volleyball official yeah. also. Yeah. yeah. Coach Burris ready to go. And so is Coach Gallon, and the ball will be up in the air. And obviously, everybody on the left side of the field is 
They're guessing Northwestern will win the tip, and they do. They tip it out to Ray. Ray will have it now quickly in the corner. Here's a three on the way by Connor. No good, and the rebound comes away to Field. Field has it for the Zebras. Now Wilson will push. Wilson will bring it across the timeline. First possession for the Zebras. See how it goes here. Wilson to the near side. Now to McCarter. Back to Northwestern in a free two zone. Clevenger, 12 footer on the way off the mark. No good. Rebound comes away to Northwestern. And they'll push. Cotter brings it up quickly. Cotter on the give and go. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds. Last touch by Northwestern. Turnover. <laughs> Zebra's doing a good job of defending that cutter. Able to get a body in there. Comes a little uh, three quarter court pressure. Now by Northwestern. What if the cutter is Cotter? <laughs> Wilson with it. We'll deal with that when it happens. We'll deal with that when it happens. To Clevenger. To Wilson, just gets it across the timeline. Now to McCarter. McCarter down in the corner. She's trapped, got to get rid of it. Now does to Wilson. Wilson, right elbow. Now back up top to Clevenger. Now to McCarter. McCarter, right wing, down low to Bollinger. Bollinger at the block, kicks it back out. Wilson fakes it three, makes another pass to McCarter. Back to Wilson. Now here's Clevenger, left wing, three on the way. Off the mark, no good. Rebound fought for, and Ray comes away with it. Good Ray. ball movement. Down in the corner, and then again another give and go, this time to Bisher, and she has to kick it back out. Good Here's defensive Hale. rotation by Field and Bollinger. Gives it off to Ray. Ray has it, tries to go down low. The ball's going to be tipped. Last touch by Ortman. Another turnover on Northwestern. Now it is physical down there. It is getting people, very physical. People just bouncing off Aubrey Bollinger. <laughs> Hale at the top of the 1-2-2 two, two for Northwestern. Now to Wilson. Wilson gets it across the timeline to Clevenger. Clevenger. Back up top to Wilson. She'll start the offense for Rochester. Comes to the near side to McCarter. Back up top. Wilson goes into the paint. Now to field. She kicks it out to McCarter. 12-footer on the way. Good for Ella McCarter. Zebra score first. Nice pass. The given nice kick out by the Zebras. Here's Northwestern with the basketball. That's Bisher. Bisher has it on the far side. Now gives it off to Hale. Hale right in front of Coach Burris. Goes down low to Ray. Ray has it knocked loose, and it's going to be last touch off of Ray, and another turnover. Great defense by Jaden Field. Got her hand in there, knocked it off a Northwestern player's leg. Four possessions for Northwestern, three turnovers. Here's McCarter with the basketball. McCarter back to Wilson. Again, the 1-2-2. Two, two. They get it to the timeline. Now they got to have to hurry and finally get it across to McCarter. McCarter back to Wilson. Swings it left side. Here's Clevenger. Riley with the basketball, now the top to Aubrey. Everybody in the gym held their breath on that skip pass <laughs> to get it across half court. Here's Wilson, Wilson to McCarter, right side. McCarter penetrates, now kicks it back up to Wilson. Wilson to Clevenger, Clevenger penetrates, back up top to Wilson, thinks about a three, passes it up. Clevenger heading ball fake, kicks it, now they swing it to the right side. Here's McCarter, quick passes over to Clevenger in front of the Northwestern bench. Aubrey has it. Now back to Wilson to Clevenger. Back to McCarter. The paint's got to move a little bit more. Here's Wilson on a three ball. No good. And the rebound's fought for it. We're going to have a jump ball. Bollinger and Ray fight for it. And it's going to be Zebra basketball in the alternating possession. I think Coach Gallo wants her, her the tops on her defense to be a little bit more aggressive. Yeah. Uh, as for Rochester, the ball just... The, the ball moved, but it didn't move. It wasn't productive movement. It right. just kind of. They get it into Wilson. Wilson penetrates in. Now to McCarter. McCarter top of the key. Now to Wilson again. Left side. Now to Clevenger. She'll fire the three from the left side. Got it. Five nothing. Zebras lead it. Here with 4:40 to go. Here in the opening quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Here is Bishop. She just drives the lane and says, "I'll take care of it myself." And they. Tigers are on the scoreboard. Very athletic play by Bisher. And out of that 1-2-2 two, two now. Here's McCarter to Wilson. Wilson brings it across the timeline. Dribbles down in the corner. She's going to be trapped. Got to get rid of it. Now it does to McCarter. McCarter, left side. Clevenger, left side again. <laughs> Clevenger's got six. And it's 8-2, to two, Zebras. Quickly down the floor of the Tigers. Now to Hale in the corner. She'll drive the baseline. Kick it out to Cotter. And Cotter travels. First substitution of the game coming in. I do not like their dark numbers. They need to lighten those up. <laughs> 21, and that's going to be McKenna Adams, a junior on the ball club, comes in. 
And here's Wilson with the basketball. No pressure this time. The Carter has it. Top of the key to swing it left side. Can she go three for three? She does. Clevenger nails another one. She's got nine in the opening quarter. And it's an 11-2 zebra run. Get the hot hand involved. Yeah. Good hand There's going ball tipped. And the Tigers pick it back up. They go to Hale in the corner. Hale quickly back to Cotter. Goes up to. That was Bisher. Oh, that was Bisher. Okay, my apologies. Bisher with all four now for the Tigers. And it's 11 to four with 3.30 to go here in this first quarter. Clevenger with a basketball. Clevenger out to Bollinger. They have brought the Tigers now out into a man. They're guarding pretty tight. They give it to Clevenger. Thinks about a three. Steps back. Now passes it over to Wilson. Top the key. And they also put Bisher on Clevenger yeah. and the man. Wilson will take it to the hole and a foul coming. First foul of the night is going to belong to the Tigers. And I believe it's going to be on Hale. And it is. Hale's going to pick up her first team first of the quarter. And that'll send the freshman Wilson to the line to shoot two. I wanted to echo some of those things that Joel Burris said about Aubrey Wilson against Cast, and she just kept competing. She did. Even when free throws missed. It wasn't going well, and it wasn't going well for much of the night, but she just keeps competing, and she did the same thing in volleyball season. Yeah. And and I'm just so impressed by that. I mean, that is it's hard for a senior to do, much less a freshman. Second free throw, rolls out, no good. Bollinger fights for the rebound and pulls it away from. Oh, and now they're going to say she stepped out of bounds. Good job by Bollinger, though. She pulled it away from Ray. That's what uh, I think Coach Burris is talking about. He wants to see that fight from Field and Bollinger. So far, so good. Top of the key, Tigers now. Here's Ray with the basketball. To the far side to Bisher. Bisher down in the corner. They give and go to Bisher. Bisher tied up by Bollinger. Throws it into the hands of Clevenger. Turnover number five. Quickly ahead to Wilson in front of the Tiger bench. Cross court over to McCarter. McCarter drives the paint, throws up a shot. No good. It's going to be blocked, but picked up by Field, and Field's going to be blocked. Nope, they're going to call a jump ball. So to go back to the Tigers, I like the aggressiveness right now of Bollinger and Field. Yeah. And you know, Bollinger made a nice pass to get McCarter a look, but she decided to drive in instead of taking open three. Lipinski into the contest as well as, uh, I'll get another one for you a minute. Lipinski with the basketball, throws it over the top to Hale. Ball's loose, ball on the ground, and now Bollinger is going to pick up a foul in her and Hale go after a loose ball. And it's going to be on Bollinger, her first team first. And into the lineup is number 10, Newell. Bella Newell. She'll look to inbound. She does. She gets it into the corner. Drives the baseline. Throws up a shot. No good. And that's going to be Cotter going to the line to shoot two. And is that on Bullinger? I think it is. And it is on Bullinger. That's going to be her second. Coach Burris is going to have to think about what he wants to do here with 2.23 to go. They don't call it on the shot. They call it on the floor, so it'll be out of bounds to the Tigers. They inbound it. Wilson with the steal. Wilson then is tied up, and we're going to have a jump ball, but the Zebras will get it. Great job by Aubrey Wilson there, kind of playing that safety mode, and she, she read the eyes and just went and got it. 2.20 to go here in the opening quarter. Zebras lead it 11-4. to four. Northwestern back in the zone. Here's McCarter well, with the basketball. Yeah. Kind of an extended zone. They come all the way out. They get it to Bollinger. Now to McCarter. It's tipped. McCarter picks it back up, dribbles down, tries to get it to Bollinger. Can't. And there's a double dribble that was missed. Now they give it to Clevenger. I think they said a Northwestern player touched the ball. Okay. Clevenger, left side three again. No good this time. Bollinger with a rebound. Bollinger then is going to be tied up. And it's going to be a Newell and Bollinger tying it up. It'll be Tiger basketball. Ray will come in and Hale will sit down. Mia Hadeshell will check in for the first time tonight. And she'll replace Bollinger. 1.52 to go here in the opening quarter on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. It's 11-4 Rochester. Well, Mia is playing the same spot in the defense that her yeah. sister played last year. Adams with the basketball to Lipinski. Uh -oh. And Clevenger just Clevin. rips it out of there, and Lipinski's going to pick up a foul. And Joel Burris was fired up for that defensive effort by Riley Clevenger. So it's going to be Lipinski's first, team's second. 
of the quarter. And Wilson will bring it up for the Zebras. It's like they're kind of back into a man for the Tigers. Wilson with it. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger travels. Yep, shifted the feet. 128 to go in the opening quarter. Still 11 to 4. We had a, a flurry of scoring there. Now we've kind of settled down here in the last couple minutes. I think Newell's job, I think Newell's a spot up shooter, as yep. I recall from last year. Stolen by Wilson. Here's Wilson. Left hand layup, up and good. Timeout, Northwestern. It's a 30. With 116 to go here in the first. Zebras lead it 13 to 4. Giant FM on RTC TV 4. As we'll keep it here and tell you about Rochester Glass, locally owned and operated since 1956. Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. McDonald's, I'm loving it. And of Rochester Metal Products, quality iron casting since 1936. And Fort County Community Foundation, where giving grows. Well, Zebra's off to a great start, Val. 13 to 4 here with just a minute 16 to go before uh, the end of the first quarter. And it's all sparked by a great shooting night so far for Riley Clevenger. I, and it's all been sparked by a really strong defensive yeah. effort so far. They forced eight turnovers already. Their hands have been a lot active. Yeah. And for your hands to be active, your feet have to be active too. And I, they're really moving their feet well. Audrey Bollinger, now I'm, let's see how they do without Audrey on the bench because Audrey's been uh, played a big role defensively now and Fields having to go to the middle. Yeah. So she's going to have to keep in contact with Hale. They got to get Hale some touches if you're Northwestern. After the timeout, it'll be Northwestern basketball. Cotter has it. Cotter now gives it off to Ray. Top of the key. Now down into Hale. Hale with a wraparound pass and a foul coming, and I believe it's going to be on the field. Coach Burris doesn't like it. But that's going to be Fields first. Her yeah, Heel third. stuck out her leg. Yeah. And uh, that's five. They inbound to Ray. Ray from the paint, and she's going to be shoved as she goes up for the shot. She'll go to the line to shoot two, mm -hmm. and that foul coming on Hottishell. It's going to be her first, team fourth. So, uh, Berkeley Hale. Berkeley Ray. Or Ray. I'm sorry, Ray, yeah. Ray. Misses the first one. Berkeley Ray, a junior, has an opportunity for a second free throw. Free throw on the way, off the mark, no good. Hale with a re rebound, put back, no good. And McCarter rips through. McCarter with it, quickly ahead now for the Zebras. Here is Clevenger, now to Hottishell. Hottishell, far side, now to Clevenger. Clevenger, Zebras will hold it, will try to hold with 39 seconds to go. Here's Wilson in the corner. Wilson, she'll penetrate. Running jumper on the way. Rebound Field. Field goes up and knocked loose by Hale. And here comes Northwestern. Western, top of the key. That's Bisher. Now the give and go to Bisher. Bisher has it down in the corner, guarded by Hottishell. They kick it back up top. Here's Hale with it. Hale now down in the corner. Head fake. Running jumper on the way for Bisher. No good. The rebound comes away to... Ortman and it's good. Ortman with the rebound basket, 11 to six, or 13 to six, with five on the clock and the shot's up, no good. That's gonna do it for the first quarter. At the end of one on the Rochester Glass scoreboard, Zebras lead it, 13 to six. You're listening to Zebra Basketball, Giant FM and RTC TV4. Three inches taller at least? <laughs> at least, yes. And uh, so how are you gonna get your shot up over her? Yeah. Uh, whether you go to a hook or sometimes you have to go straight into the girl and to create some space. So that's it's a learning experience. Zebras start the quarter with a basketball. And now here is Field with it. Field yeah, has it. I think that's the wrinkle. Put yeah. uh, Jaden Field. And we're going to get a travel against Rochester. Turnover as we start the second quarter. On the floor for Rochester, McCarter, Field, Hottishell, Wilson, and Clevenger. On the field for Northwestern is Bisher, Hale, also Ortman, Ray, and Ray turns it over 
on a pass into the paint, and Carter steals it. Turnover number nine. Here is Clevenger with it. Cross court pass to Wilson. Wilson to Hottishell. Four players on the outside. Fields just working the paint. Somebody's got to set a screen here. Yeah. Now they give to Field at the elbow. Field, double team, kicks it to Wilson. Wilson has it. Knocked loose by Hale. Now gives it off to Clevenger. Now to Hottishell in the corner. McCarter. McCarter drives the baseline. Has it blocked by Ray. And now a foul coming against Rochester, which will be their first of the quarter. But it's going to be on Mia Hottishell, her second. So Hottishell will come down, and Braylon Hunter will enter for the first time tonight. Another freshman on this team. Zebra's in that 2 3. Here comes Collier with the basketball, right side. Now they give it off to Ortman. Ortman has it, top of the key now to Bisher. Bisher has it. Now over to Cotter. They try to give it on the give and go to Bisher. Bisher with a Great drop defense step. by Ella Carter. Yeah. Got the block and the rebound. And here comes the Zebras. Still 13 to six here in the second quarter. Six and a half to go before halftime. That's great defense. I'm sure that's something they talked about in practice a lot too. But as they're prepared for this game. Crossover, kicks it out to Clevenger. Now back up top to Wilson. Wilson with the basketball. McCarter, she'll fire a three from the left wing. Short, and the ball's loose. Ball's knocked down, and it's going to go out of bounds. Last touched by the Zebras. It'll be Northwestern basketball. 6-12 to go here before halftime. Still 13-6. Almost two minutes gone by. Neither team has scored in this opening uh, part of the second quarter. Everything starts to the right side of the yes, court for Northwestern. It sure does. And I don't know if they're picking on Braylon Hunter or picking on Mia Hadishell before her. And they get it down low to Hale. Hale dribbles at the block. Hale has to pick it up. Now can't find anything to do with it. Finally kicks it out. Here's Bisher with the basketball. Now to Cotter. Bring it to Ortman. Ortman to Hale. Kicks it out to Ray. 12-footer for Ray. No good. Rebound tipped around and last touch. It's going to stay with Northwell. Yep. Well, it was Northwestern, but I think we're going to have a change as the officials talk. And it is Zebra basketball. And yeah. So yeah, Kim Rogers Curry had a real good look at that. Yeah, and so, uh, so now here comes the man press by the Northwestern Tigers. It was definitely an open look there yeah. for Northwestern. Their, their ball movement there was pretty good. Clevenger with it in the backcourt, still at, behind the volleyball line. Wilson... Try to get to the 10 foot line. Now they get it across to Clevenger. Clevenger to a wide open Hunter. Hunter turn around, throw it up too high. Rebound comes away to Ray. Just didn't really square up, did Hunter. Quickly down the floor to Hale. Hale throws up a shot, no good. Great hustle by Braylon Hunter to get back defensively. And the rebound comes to McCarter and she throws it out of Clevenger's hands. Another turnover on that Rochester. Was, that was silly. Yeah. That was, an, that was the definition of an unforced <laughs> turnover. 5.13 to go here before halftime. Still 13 to six. Ray gets it in, into the corner to Bisher. Bisher has it to Cotter. Cotter, top of the key. That was close to a travel on the yeah, inbounds pass. Almost. That was strange. Right. Now to Ortman. Ortman, top of the key, goes to Hale on the right side. Hale has it. <laughs> Hale <laughs> guarded by Clevenger in that two, three as Hale comes out. Don't, uh, don't worry, I got this, says Riley Clevenger. Right. Ortman with the basketball against McCarter. The give and go into Cotter. Right hand layup on the left side. No good. Never a good combination. And the Zebras come away with a rebound. McCarter with it. Now gives it off to Wilson. She'll cross the timeline with 4.35 to go before halftime. McCarter left side against Cotter. McCarter dribbles back over. Dribbles off her foot. Great move. Had her uh, defender and Collier beat, but unfortunately dribbled it off her foot, and it goes out of bounds. Another turnover on Rochester. Ray comes out, and Lip Lipinski will come back in. Here's Northwestern with the basketball. They give and go. Nobody paying attention. It's thrown right into the hands of the Zebras. Wilson with it. Wilson. Bounce pass now to McCarter. Swings it left side. Now to Clevenger. They try to go into the paint, and Hunter, or excuse me, that's going to be Field. She's going to be tied up, and it'll go back to Northwestern. Turnover and number six for Rochester. I think it's three in a row. Adams will come in, and Cotter will sit down. 
4.07 to go here in this second quarter. I believe Coach uh, Chris Kindick from Valley is here somewhere. Yep. Another turnover for Northwestern. That one goes right through the hands of Ortman. Valley plays Northwestern on Saturday night okay. at Valley. And then, of course, they play Rochester in less than two weeks. All right. Here is Wilson now with the basketball. Under four to go here before halftime. Wilson almost clotheslined, and they give it off to McCarter. Now here's Clevenger, right corner, on the way a three, no good. Rebound comes away. That's Adams with it. Adams with the basketball. Quickly ahead to Bisher. Bisher has it. Now throws it in the backcourt. Going to be another turnover against Northwestern. Turnover number 12 for Northwestern, six for Rochester. And Ortman will come out. And coming in is number 23, Eric. And Cotter will come back in. 3.35 to go. Still scoreless in the second quarter. Neither team has scored. Still 13 to 6. Here's Wilson with the basketball. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger in the picture dribble up. Too far away. Going to have to get rid of it. Finally does to McCarter. McCarter around two defenders. Gives it to Field. Field loses it. Picks it back up. Throws up a shot. She's going to be fouled. And she'll go to the line to shoot two. I think Hale gambled defensively when she didn't have to. Yeah. And nice little kind of drop step by Field. Strong drop step. Got her to a look and she was fouled. And that was on Lipinski, her second. Team first of the quarter. And that will send Field to the line to shoot two. Jaden Field, free throw line. First one rattles around, no good. Zebra's 0 for 3 from the line so far. Rochester has not scored in almost six minutes. Here's Field, but they're still up by seven. Field with a second free throw. Short rebound is taken. Here's Cotter with the basketball. Quickly head to Adams. Adams has it. Now gives it off to Eric. Eric, top of the key. Now she gives it off to Ray. Ray, left side against Wilson. Ray dribbles to the paint. Stolen away from Clevenger. Clevenger to Wilson. Down in the corner, top of the key, McCarter. McCarter, good head fake, gives it off to Hunter. Shot on the way, 12 footer, no good. Rebound comes away to Northwestern. Here's Eric. Eric all the way to the paint, no good. Rebounds fought for, gonna be knocked out of bounds. It'll stay with Northwestern as Ray and Field battle for it. And looks like we're gonna have a timeout on the court. And Northwestern, they'll call a full timeout. We'll take one as well. 2.40 to go here in the uh, second quarter. Still 13 to six on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard. Giant FM and RTC TV4. Rochester High School after the timeout by Northwestern. A 60 second timeout this time with 2.40 to go here in the uh, first half. Still 13 to six and uh, really a scoring drought for both teams. Em emphasis in the sense still. Still. How many minutes are we up to now? Uh, well, neither team has scored in this quarter. In this quarter, that's five minutes and 20 seconds. And then, well, Northwestern scored right before the end of the quarter, so it was, what, about 30 seconds 30 left? 30 seconds, so there. It's been about six minutes since they've scored, and it has been about uh, six, uh, six and a half minutes since Rochester last scored. So, so all the still. scoring done in about the first five minutes <laughs> <laughs> for the, of the majority. Here at Rochester again after the uh, timeout, Northwestern will have the basketball. They get it into Ray. Ray with the basketball. Shot up, no good. Rebound. Field pulls it down. Field gives it away now to McCarter. Ooh, Lady Z's caught a break there. They fell asleep on the inbounds pass. Yeah. Here's McCarter. Or excuse me, that's Clevenger. Now to Wilson, back to Clevenger. Left side. Wilson has it. Now to McCarter with 2.15 to go here before halftime. 2 3 zone now by the Tigers. Clevenger on the far side, fakes it three, throws it to Wilson. She has to go chase it down, but does so. Field at the free throw lane. Takes her man to the hole, and a foul coming. And it's going to be on the floor, but that's going to bring Lexi Hale to foul number two in the second of the quarter. I don't know what happened with Hale there. It looked like she was in position, yeah. and then for some reason she got physical when she didn't have to. She, looked like she was moving her feet fine. Hale will go out. Coming in will be Newell and also... Number 30, Davenport checks in for the first time here this evening. But I like I like Field's aggressiveness. 
Here's Clevenger after the inbounds. Back to McCarter. Free throw line jumper for Ella. Off the mark, no good. Clevenger with the rebound. Puts it right back up and good. Clevenger's got 11 now. The scoring drought for the Zebras ends at the 150 mark as they take the lead 15 to 6 now. What's the first thing you think of when you think of Audrey or Riley Clevenger? Offensive rebounds. Yeah. <laughs> Here is Cotter on the corner. And that three is good for Cotter. Her first points of the night. And it's 15 to 9. Here's Wilson with the basketball across the timeline. Left side down to Clevenger, back to Wilson. McCarter, top of the key, now to Wilson. A lot of standing around by the white jerseys. That one's tipped in the backcourt. Wilson goes and fetches it down. Now here's Clevenger. Clevenger to Hunter. Hunter gives it off the field. It goes through her hands, but luckily McCarter was there. Now to Clevenger. Three on the way for Clevenger, no good. Field goes, gets a rebound against Ray. Field goes back up, no good, but she's gonna go to the line and shoot two. And it's been Bisher. And, nope. They're gonna call that on Ray. Her first, team third of the quarter, and a field back to the line to shoot two more. That one rolls in, and it's 16 to 9. Field will have another opportunity. 102 to go here before halftime. Field, second free throw, short. Rebound comes away to Cotter. Cotter will bring it down quickly for the Tigers. Now she'll back, dribble it back out and restart the offense. They give it off to Newell. Newell has it to give and go to Cotter, and she can't handle it, and it goes out of bounds. Another turnover. Turnover number 14. I thought it might have been a walk earlier in the possession, yeah. but all worked out for the ladies' ease in the end. 50 seconds to go before halftime. Zebras will look to walk it up and cross the timeline. Clevenger to McCarter. And the Zebras will look to do the weave here and run the clock down. Here's McCarter with it, left side. She'll dribble down now, give it off to Wilson. Wilson in the corner, back to Clevenger. Clevenger top of the key to McCarter. 28 seconds. That baseline shot should be yeah. open. McCarter with the basketball. If they're patient enough. Here comes the double team. They give it off to Clevenger on the left side. 19 seconds. Clevenger drives in, kicks it to Wilson. Wilson double teamed and didn't really give a good look, and she just whipped it at Clevenger. Luckily, uh, Northwestern knocked it out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester with 13.1 seconds to go. Once you stand there beyond more than like a one count yeah. in the corner, Clevenger has it. Bad things are usually yeah. going to happen. Clevenger has it to Wilson in the corner. Fakes it three. Now to Clevenger again with six. To McCarter. McCarter with four. Elbow jumper on the way. No good. Rebound comes away to Northwestern, and that's going to do it for the first half. At halftime, Zebras 16. Northwestern Tigers 9. Back with more of the at Rochester High School getting ready to start the third quarter. It will be Zebra basketball to start the quarter. Got some big regional games coming up on Friday night. There, there are some is. runs I'm really looking forward to. How about a uh, Adam Central and Carroll getting after it again? That'll be interesting. That'll be a doozy in Class 1A. <laughs> and how about Knox heading to West Lafayette? Knox has never won a regional title in wow. football. And West Lafayette, they were down 21 points in the fourth quarter, came back to beat Hanover Central last week. Zebra start with the basketball, leading 16 to 9. Wilson, McCarter, Bollinger, Field, and Clevenger, the original five starters on the court. Bollinger has it on the right side. Now to McCarter. McCarter right in front of the coaching staff, brings it off now to Wilson. Down to Field in the paint, dribbles off her foot, balls loose, and it'll be a jump ball turnover, Rochester. Field had the right idea. She took that power dribble and unfortunately uh, probably a little too far away and when she did, she dribbled off her foot. So it'll be uh, Northwestern basketball. And the looks like the original five starters in Cotter, Bisher, Ortman, Hale, and Ray on the court for them. They try to go into Hale. Hale has it, throws up a shot, no good. The rebound fought for and we're gonna have a foul, looks like, coming against Field. And that's gonna be Field's second, team's first of the third quarter. The players just falling like bowling pins out there. Yeah. And Field fell over Ortman. So they will inbound, they get it into Ray. Ray goes up off the glass, no good, gets her own rebound, back up and good. Ray's first points of the contest. And it's 16 to 11. 
Here's uh, Zebras with it. McCarter right side. Now gives it back to the middle to Wilson. Left side to Clevenger. Clevenger fakes. Now gives it off to Bollinger at the free throw line. Back over to Clevenger. Clevenger into Bollinger at the free throw line. Square up. Square up. She had a wide open shot. Gives it off to Wilson. Now to McCarter. Back up top to Wilson. Here's Clevenger. Back to uh, Wilson. Wilson with a basketball. Wilson picks up her dribble. Now has to get it to McCarter on the right side. McCarter going to bring it back up top to Wilson. Back to McCarter. Back to Wilson. 6.25 to go here in this third quarter. They give it to Bollinger. She loses it. Picked up by Ortman. Here comes Northwestern. Not sure what happened there. It looked like, I don't know if that was a, kind of a pass. You know, McCarter made a pass and yeah. Bollinger wasn't looking or what. But Bisher. And her, and that has passed stolen by Cottier from Cottier. And another turnover on the Tigers. 16 to 11. Six minutes to go here in the third. Here is Wilson. Now in the corner to Clevenger. Clevenger into field. Field free throw line. Kicks it back out to McCarter. Just inside the three off the mark. No good. Field with the rebound. And it's stolen by Hale. Hale has it. Now to Bisher. Now to Ortman. Back to Bisher at the volleyball line. Left side now, here's Ray. Ray goes to Hale. Now here's Cotter, three on the way, good. Cotter's at six. And all of a sudden, it's a two point lead for the Zebra, 16-14. Here is Wilson with it. Wilson to McCarter. McCarter, right side, now brings it back to the near side to Wilson, now to Clevenger, to Wilson. Wilson against Bisher, crossover, kicks it back out. Here's three on the way for Clevenger, good. Oh, that was set up beautifully by Aubrey Wilson. A little crossover move by yeah. Aubrey. 19-14, here's Northwestern with the basketball. Western falling out of bounds, throws it up in the air, stolen by Rochester. Here's Clevenger, gives it off to Wilson. Wilson will run the point. Now to McCarter, right side, Ooh. back up top to Wilson. Left corner, Clevenger again, no good. Rebound goes to Bollinger. Bollinger then has it taken away, but a foul coming, I believe. And it's, that's on Hale. That's going to be her third. And I believe it is on Hale. That's going to be her third team first of the quarter. And coming back in will be Newell I'm a, and 30 Davenport. I'm a bit surprised with Northwestern defensively. They came out in the same defense they played to start yeah. the game. That was the defense that Clevenger torched in the first quarter. Yeah, they give it off to Clevenger on the inbounds. Three on the way, good for Riley. 22-14, was a two point game. Now all of a sudden the Zebras spreading it open a little bit. And that pass is thrown to the corner over the top of Connor. And a turnover against Northwestern. 22 14, 4 24 to go. I think 17's got to be a career high for Riley Clevenger. Yeah. Here's McCarter right side. McCarter back to Wilson. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger, top of the key to Wilson, swings it right side. McCarter. McCarter to Bollinger. She turns around, throws it out to Clevenger. Swings it right side. McCarter, open three. Good. Oh, great offense. Some great ball movement that, that is, time by the Zebras. That is textbook. 25-14 now, Zebras lead. Here is Davenport with the basketball. She gives it off to Ortman. Ortman, top of the key, comes around the right side, around Clevenger. Now Clevenger's gonna try to tie her up, can't do so. They give it to Newell. Now back up top to Connor. Obviously Northwestern does not look anything the same without Hale in the ball game. Here's Connor, fade away shot, and a late whistle coming. And I believe it's going to be on Bollinger. It was that active shooting, I think it was. And it is on the Bollinger. And it's a shooting foul. It's going to be her second, team second. Well, excuse me, Bollinger's third, team second of the quarter. And that will send Connor to the line. Connor makes the first one. And Hale will come back in, and Ray will sit down. Let's see if Coach Gavlin goes, she makes any defensive changes here. Does she go back to a man? Yeah, it'll be I, interesting to I see. Thought they, I thought they'd been a little more effective in the man than in the zone, but I'm, 
10 point lead for the Zebras. Make it nine after the second free throw, good. 25-16, or a press. Here comes a press by Northwestern. And the Zebras turn it over. And here it is quickly down, here's Hale. Hale throws up a shot off the glass, is good. 25-18, here again, pressed by the Tigers. Wilson with the basketball in the middle, now to Clevenger, she'll bring it up the sideline. Clevenger turns, looks for Wilson, gets it to her, now swings it right side, McCarter. Back to Wilson. Clevenger on the left side to Wilson. Wilson fakes a three at the top, gives it to McCarter. She'll drive into wide open, bowling her up off the glass gun. Nice pass by Ella. Aubrey Bollinger, a gift from McCarter as she drew the defense, and Bollinger was wide open for yeah. the shot. Northwestern didn't shut off the dribble at all there. That's, I think you might want to attack from that side of the court. Here is Cotter with the basketball. Cotter just dribbling around up top. Zebras in that 2-3. Now they come to Davenport. Davenport picks up her dribble. Now he gives it off to Newell. Newell is double team. Newell in the corner, and we're going to have a timeout from the from Coach Gatlin. It's just going to be a 30-second timeout. Zebras lead 2.23 to go. 27-18. Keep it here on a Giant FM and tell you about Fulton County Community Foundation, where giving grows. Also, Odell Lumber, your locally owned building supplier, as well as Mike Anderson, where you'll always find a familiar face. Ivy Tech, Northern Indiana, sign up for classes today. Fulton County, best one tire. The most important person to them is you. First Federal Savings Bank, they don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. All proud supporters of Zebra basketball. 2.23 to go here in the third, 27-18. Northwestern had it cut to just two, but unfortunately they left Riley Clevenger open for two back-to-back -back threes and McCarter open for a three, and now the Zebras have a 27-18 lead. Some great ball movement by yeah. the Zebras on a couple of those possessions. Yeah, and I'm kind of wondering, Coach Gatlin, obviously that they're in trouble, the, that possession, they were in trouble along the base the yeah. sideline, but I'm kind of wondering, Coach Gatlin, maybe talk about defense uh, in that huddle. Uh, Rochester has figured it out against the zone. Here is Hale with the basketball down at the post. She kicks it out to Newell. Newell back up top now. Here is Bisher with it. Bisher, top of the key. Bisher comes to the near side off of one of her teammates, now picked up by Hale, and Field is going to be whistled for her third foul. Team number three of the quarter. That hit Ortman in the ear. Yeah. Ortman kind of turned to look for something else, apparently, and Bisher with a strong pass. Ray will come in, and so will Cotter. And that's three now on field, so three each on field and Bollinger. Original five back on the floor for Northwestern. Still the original five for Rochester. Ray throws, or excuse me, that's Hale throws up a shot, no good. But a rebound to Northwestern. Here's Cotter with the basketball. That shot Not was so wild, it was almost, yeah. yeah. Bisher has it, now Hale has it, loses it to McCarter. Turnover number 18. Here's Clevenger, quickly ahead to Wilson. Wilson right side, back to Clevenger, to McCarter on the left side. McCarter drives in, picks up her dribble. Almost too deep as she tries to throw that away, and it's going to be stolen by Northwestern. Not a good pass. Picked up a dribble and didn't have really no options, anything to do with it. Here's Orman, the give and go, knocked loose, picked up by Hale. Now back to Bisher. Bisher with the basketball, kicks it out. Here's Ray, 18-footer, no good. Hale fights for the rebound, and a foul coming against Rochester, and that's going to be the team fourth. Oh, you gotta get the rebound. That was really some really good defense by Jaden Field. And that's on Bollinger, her fourth. So that will be out of bounds. Only the team fourth of the quarter. And now Hunter will come back in for Rochester and she'll replace Bollinger. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here tonight on Giant FM on RTC TV4. Minute 19 to go here in the third, 27-18. Here's Ray, 15-footer. No good, and the rebound comes away to field. Wilson looking to push her along the left side. Wilson, now to McCarter. McCarter dribbles into Clevenger on the right side. Back up top to Wilson. She'll penetrate. Here's Hunter. She'll fire a three ball. Good. Braylon Hunter. 
30 to 18 with 50 seconds to go in the third. Well, Braylon Hunter's got a nice looking shot and that, she had to get it off quickly and get it up high with a bigger defender on her. Ray to the hole, no good. Good defense by the Zebras. McCarter with the rebound and Wilson will slow it down with 40 seconds to go as she gets it across the timeline. McCarter against Hale. Northwestern in the man. Yep. Zebra's going to be in that weave as they try to run the clock down with under 30 to go here in the third. McCarter dribbles into the elbow and that kicks it back out to Clevenger. Clevenger against Bisher and yep, not bad. Got a fouls to give because that's only the second of the quarter. And that's going to be Bisher's first. And so that'll allow Northwestern to make a substitution. Coming in will be number 21, Adams. Right, and you bring in, now you take out Bisher, yeah. who's only got one foul anyway, and you bring in Adams, who's got some fouls to play with, right. and, you, and you have three fouls to give. I mean, and she'll be guarding up top. Yeah, you can be really aggressive here defensively. Here is Clevenger with the basketball. Clevenger against Cotter. Clevenger, left side, looking to get it to Wilson in the corner, quickly up top. Now to McCarter with four seconds. McCarter with three. McCarter with two. Wilson fires at the buzzer, and no good, and that'll do it for the third quarter. At the end of three, Zebras lead 30 to 18 here on Giant FM and RTC TV4. High schools, we get ready to start the fourth and final quarter. It'll be Zebra basketball to start the quarter. And they lead to 30 to 18 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard. Don't forget, coming up at the end of the game, we'll choose the Fulton County Community Foundation player of the game during the Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins postgame show. So it's all coming your way at the conclusion of tonight's basketball game. Have to get back on defense in this fourth quarter, and I, the hot hand right now seems to be cutter for Northwestern. Here's Wilson with the basketball. A little pressure put on by Northwestern in the half court. They give it to Hunter to elbow. The ball's going to be kicked by Ray. Zebras will have it, and they'll go back underneath their own basket. Rochester scored 12 of their 14 points that quarter on three-pointers. Yeah. And the 12-point lead they currently enjoy is their biggest of the game. 16 points in the first half, 14 in the third quarter. <laughs> Hunter will look to inbound. She's going to have to hurry and finally throws it, and it's going to be stolen by Adams. Yeah, do you want a freshman throwing that yeah. pass? Adams with the basketball for Northwestern. Now to Hale. Back up top to Cotter. Cotter with it now to Adams. Adams has the basketball to Ortman. Ortman, she'll dribble in and gives it off to Ray. Ray down in the corner against Hunter. Now to Hale. Hale goes up underneath, no good, but a rebound to McCarter and a foul coming on Hale. Man, I am so impressed with Jaden Fields' defense on Hale in this game. Yep. I mean, obviously it's not a, a strict man, but. And that's going to be Hale's fourth, and that'll be the first of the quarter. Bisher checks back in, and Davenport will come in for Hale with four fouls. Randy and Val, glad you could join us here tonight. High school basketball, Zebras lead it 30 to 18 here in the fourth. Cotter knocks it out of bounds. It'll stay with Rochester. <coughs> 7.23 to go here in the fourth. Zebras are looking to get it in. They get it into McCarter. McCarter, double team down in the corner. Gives it off to Hunter. She can't handle it because has to chase it. Picks it up, now to field. Ball's loose, still on the floor. And we're going to have a jump ball. It'll go to Northwestern. Coming in will be Mia Hadashaw for Hunter. And ball handling purposes, basically, I'm guessing. Yeah, before the officials even blew their whistle, yeah. uh, Joel Burris said, Mia, we need you in the game. So it'll be a turnover on Rochester. And here's Bisher with the basketball for Northwestern. Bisher on that left side. Now she'll bring it up top to Cotter. Cotter now to Orman. Orman. The give and go to Cotter. Cotter down low. She gives it off to Ray. Ray's 10-footer no good. McCarter with another rebound. Ray can't buy one tonight. She's had some looks. Here's Clevenger with a basketball. Now back up top to Wilson. Wilson swings it to Clev or excuse me to McCarter. Now down in the corner to Clevenger. Clevenger left side. Now she'll dribble it back up. She's guarded by Davenport. Now she'll dribble to the middle, pick up her basketball, and give it off to Wilson. Wilson guarded by Bisher. Now back to Clevenger on the left side. Clevenger got a wide open lane to run it on that baseline, but uh, she passes it up to Hottishell. Now to Field. Field down low against Ray. Kicks it back out to McCarter. 6.20 to go here in this fourth quarter. 
30 to 18, a 12 point zebra lead. Here is Wilson with it to the near side. Wilson goes to Clevenger, three on the way for Clevenger, good. Riley Clevenger's feeling the threes tonight and it's 33-18. Here's Ray with the basketball. Now to Davenport, down to the corner. She throws down low to Ray, kicks it back out to Cotter. Cotter fakes it three, gives it to Davenport. She'll shoot the three way off the mark, no good. And the rebound comes away to Field. Field gives it to Clevenger. Clevenger calls for Wilson. Wilson will bring it up the timeline. You can tell Northwestern's getting frustrated. I think Coach Gallon's going to have to bring Hale into the game even though she's got four fouls. I don't know. Yeah. You're down by 15 here. You can't. Time's a wasting. Clevenger with the basketball. Now to Wilson. Wilson against Bisher. Drives in. Kicks it out to Clevenger. Riley dribbles in. Picks up her dribble. Now gives it off to McCarter on the right side. McCarter, free throw line. Gives it to a wide open field guard. Jaden Field gets her first field goal tonight. And it's a timeout. I was just going to say, you don't want a good shot here. You want a great shot. I would call that a great shot. That was definitely a great shot. 5.15 to go here in the fourth. 35-18 on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard. Giant FM and RTC TV4. After high school, the Northwestern Tigers call their fourth timeout of the night. With 5.15 to go here on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard. 35-18 and... The Zebras lighten it up from threes tonight. Right, and then that last possession, um, Clevenger had a decent look at a three. It would have been, you would say that would be a good shot, a decent shot, yeah. but I said they got a great shot they with did. a layup by Field. So nice job by Ella McCarter. Uh, you know, Ella really has been breaking down the Northwestern defense off the dribble tonight, and that is something that didn't happen in those first two games. Here's Northwestern with the basketball, and... A jump ball as Hottishell reaches around. Bisher ties it up. It'll be a turnover on Northwestern. Zebra basketball. Well, that's been the big story. Bisher has not scored this half. Yeah. Hannah Eller into the contest as well now for Northwestern, number 20. Quickly ahead to Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball. Five minutes to go. 35-18, Zebra's lead. Wilson from the top of the key. Good. No, 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 no. Yes. Yes. Coach Burris not happy with the shot, but he'll have to like it for a little bit as it goes in and takes a 20-point lead now. Here is down in the corner to Ray. They go to Hale at the block. Back to Ray. 12-footer on the way. Way off the mark. Out of show with the rebound. Northwestern trying to put some pressure on even off through the miss. Here's McCarter with it across the timeline. Gives it off to Wilson. Wilson against Cotter. Now they go to McCarter. McCarter on that far side. Back to Wilson. Wilson will dribble in. Kicks it back out to Clevenger. She'll bring it back up to the top. Looking down low to field. Field around Ray up and oh, rolls out. And it's going to be touched last by Bishop. It'll stay with Rochester. Newell will come in and so will Lipinski. Bisher and Eller sit down. So it'll be a conference game next year. Inbounds from uh, Mia into McCarter. McCarter back to Hottishell. Fakes a corner three. Here's Clevenger, right wing three. Off the mark and Lipinski with the rebound. Yes, it will be. Well, you're right. Down there next year. Yeah, so I'm assuming. Uh, we'll see how the schedule plays. Connor with a reverse layup, up no good. Great Western hustle. with the rebound. Great hustle by Hale. To Lipinski, and now we're going to have a foul, I believe, on Hottishell. And that's going to be the Zebras' first of the uh, quarter, third on Hottishell. 3.46 to go, a 20-point Zebra lead, 38-18. Over the top, here's Hale. Jumper off the inbounds is good. Hale's fourth point of the night. It ends a 13-0 Rochester run. Here's Clevenger, brings it across the timeline. Clevenger dribbles all the way down, now kicks it back up top to Wilson. Swings it right side, now to McCarter. McCarter dribbles to the near side, jump stops in the middle, now hands it to Wilson, now Clevenger. Clevenger against Hale. They're not even trapping out of that. No, Clevenger running jumper on the way, no good. Ball's loose, McCarter picks it back up. Here's Hottishell. 
Coach Burr says pull it out. Spacing. Rochester still has Rochester it. Rochester still has all of their timeouts left, so you can, if you get trapped or in trouble. Hadashell to a wide open field, up and good. Great penetration by Mia Hadashell. The defender steps up, bounce past the field, and she's got two more, and it's 40 to 20. Here's Lipinski. Lipinski then is gonna be fouled by Wilson. And that's gonna be Wilson's first, team second. And Northwestern will have the ball here on the near side with 2.47 to go. As Bollinger will check back in and Hadashell will sit down. Great uh, dribbling there by Mia Hadashell. Dribbles right down the lane, the defender steps up. And Field did a great job of staying home as well. She made a contribution in every game. Here is Field with a steal. Jaden Field with another steal on the other end. And here comes Rochester with two and a half to go, leading by 20. McCarter against Cotter. McCarter has the basketball. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger, top of the key. Now hands it off to McCarter. She's double teamed. Now Cotter will take her and she'll be fouled. Only the team second. Cotter's first. And so Adams will come in and Lipinski will sit down. Something that just surprised me. Cotter looked like she was had the hot hand there in the third quarter for a yeah. while. And she's, I don't think she's even taken a shot in the fourth quarter. McCarter against Cotter. Now off to Clevenger. Cotter will pick her up on the screen. Now McCarter on the near side. 2-10 to go in the, in the ball game. Bollinger with the catch, kicks it back out. Here's McCarter with it back on the near side. Smart by Bollinger. She'll dribble in, gives it off to Clevenger. Clevenger will bring it back out. Carter knocks it loose, but picks it back up is Zebras. Clevenger, or excuse me, McCarter dribbles in and she's gonna be sandwiched. And that'll be the third team foul in the quarter as that one's gonna be whistled against 12, Cotter, her second. And now, Coach Gatlin is going to make uh, wholesale substitutions. Davenport will come back in. Also coming in is Riker. 23, Eric into the contest. And Eller. They get it into McCarter. McCarter, right side. McCarter has it. Now gives it off to Wilson. Minute 45 to go here, and the Zebras will get their first win of the season here at home tonight, leading 40 to 20. Joel Burris emptying the bench. <laughs> Here's Wilson, left wing three on the, off the mark. No good, rebound, Bollinger. That's been one of the stories of this game. The hustle plays yeah. by Field and Bollinger. And here's McCarter. McCarter has it now to Clevenger. Clevenger will back it back out. A minute 15. Clevenger now to McCarter, top the key. McCarter. McCarter dribbles in, looking for field. Another wide open layup, too hard this time. The rebound comes away to Northwestern. Here's Eller with the basketball. Eller has it to Adams, and she can't handle it. It's a turnover on Northwestern. And Braylon Hunter will check back in for Bolt, or excuse me, for field. And Mia Hanischel will come in for Aubrey Wilson. 40 to 20, 60 seconds exactly remaining here in this contest. Clevenger will bring it up as she crosses the timeline. Now to McCarter. McCarter will hold against Adams. McCarter has it. Now to Clevenger with 45. Here comes Hanischel down from the corner to try to be that relief person, and they do get her the basketball on this near side. Hanischel picks it up. Now to Clevenger. Clevenger to McCarter with 30. Back to Clevenger. Clevenger, back to Hottishell. Top of the key, they go to McCarter with 23. To Clevenger. Clevenger with the basketball. Top of the key at the volleyball well, line. This is a confidence booster as well. Yeah. If you can hold, hold the ball and drain some clock without committing turnovers. Hottishell with the basketball. Top of the key at the volleyball line. She'll give it off to Clevenger, and that'll do it. The Zebras win tonight for their first night, first game of the year, by defeating the Northwestern Tigers by a final 40-20 to 20 on the Rochester Glass scoreboard.
We'll have the post game when we come back, being brought to you by Peterson, Wagner, and Perkins, the law firm built for your current and future legal needs. Again, the final from Rochester High School. The Zebras win it 40-20 to 20 on the Rochester Glass Scoreboard. Back with more Giant FM and RTC TV4.